You may feel like that. You have been disowned. You may feel like you're the sheep of the family. But I tell you one thing, no matter what family member disown you, God says you, he still call you your, his own. No matter what you have done, how many mistakes you have made, God still call you his own. Why? Because the scripture said that we have to constantly begin to speak love and encourage each other. I want you to tell you that the love of God, the love of God is so strong and is so powerful that God loves just distributes abroad. <laughs> Welcome to the Empowering for Life broadcast, prophetic teachings for an empowered life. Now, let's join Beverly Lewis. Welcome to Empowering for Life prophetic ministry. I am Prophetess Beverly Lewis, and today I just thank God for the opportunity to come into your home, into the hospital, to into the incarceration or whatever facility that you're in on today, I am excited to be able to minister the Word of God to you and to bring you the truth of the true knowledge of the Word of God on today. Today's message that I would like to speak to you in reference, it is entitled, The Power of Encouragement. Yes, the power of encouragement. My brother and my sister, I know in today's society, everyone is dealing with a lot of issues, family issues, issues on the job, health issues, and various types of issues. But on today, I just want to encourage your spirit on today. Uh, each and every one of us, even when you look at the world on today and in the life of each and every one of us, we are facing hard time. We are facing crucial times within the world, within our nations, and in various areas. But I wanted to just encourage your spirit on today that you don't have to worry about a thing because in spite of what hap what's happening in the nation, in spite of what's happening in your family, in spite of what may even be happening in your marriage or with your children, you can be encouraged today because the word of God says that we have a God that sees everything. And God sees right where you are on today. He knows your various situations. A matter of fact, God even knows your address. He knows where you live at on today. And he brings this word of encouragement to you to let you know that there is power and encouragement. And us as believers, us as sons and daughters of the most high God, the word of God says that we have a duty as believers to be able to encourage each and every one of us in life, in time of crisis and in situations. What does the word encouragement mean? In the word of encouragement mean it is an act of hope. It is support. It is inspiring. It is confidence. It is what will help renew you, what will strengthen you and which will give you hope to keep on and to be able to keep on moving on in the things of God, in spite of what you see with your natural eyes, in spite of what your situation may look like. I know some of us may have situations that look like we don't even know how we're going to come out of it. It looks like there is no hope, but I come to tell you on today, we serve the hope of glory. And long as you keep your hope and your trust in him, you will never ever, Never ever have to worry about being ashamed of what you're going through or being worried about how you're going to come out of this because the word I have already prophetically declared that God himself has given each and every one of us an escape. And so whichever situations you're in today, you may feel like you don't know how you're going to come out of it. But I tell you what, on today, you will find out through the word of God, God has already gave a way to escape. He have already have a plan for you to come out of this victorious in and through your life. Amen. And the word of God wants us to be encouraged on today because when we're encouraged and we can come alongside of each other, encourage each other, the word of encouragement it's more like when someone encouraged you and there have been many of you again has been going through some things and you may have gotten a phone call from someone and said, you know what? I really needed that word on today. That's what encouragement will do. Encouragement will bring you hope. Encouragement will bring you confidence and encouragement will give you the initiative to keep you moving forward 
in the things of God. It is just like the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit comes alongside of us. The word of God says in the gospel of St. John chapter 14, it says the Holy Spirit comes alongside of us. And what it does is it helps us. It leads us. It guides us. It encourages us. It empowers us. It teaches us. And so no matter where you are, in life on today, God brings you this encouraging word to let you know not only does you have the Holy Spirit within your life to do that as a capacity as a whole, but God has given men and women, friends and family to come alongside of you and to help you and to encourage you with the word of God. And that's what I come to do in your life on today. The word of God in the, uh, the book of Hebrew, it says that we are to encourage each other. And not only that we are to encourage each other, but we are to encourage each other in on in and on a daily basis. So that way we will be able to stay strong in the Lord and to be able to move in the power of his might as we begin to release the word of God or whatever. It, is. it may just be a smile that God can encourage someone through you to allow your spirit to be lifted up. It just may be a word of encouragement to let you know, no matter what your situation is on today, that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask a thing according to the power that worketh in us. And so when we begin to look at the word of God, the word of God begins to encourage us again, in Hebrew chapter three, and we begin at verse 13, it begins to say, it says, but exalt one another daily. That's what I come on this broadcast to do on today, to exalt you on this day, on this daily bread, on the day that God has made that we can come together and we can rejoice. You can get out of your depression. You can get out of your old, your oppression because the word of God come to encourage your experience, your whatever it is that you're experiencing on life. He come to encourage you on this day. He said, encourage one another on a daily basis. It said, exalting one another while it is called day. And today, as you watch this telecast, it is called today. I come to bring greetings. I come to encourage your spirit on today because the word of God says, lest any of you be hardened through deceitfulness or sin. I come to encourage you that no matter where you are, no matter the mistakes you have made, no matter how many times you have fallen down, you don't have to fall in sin. You don't have to stay in sin. But the word of God says you can rise up in God on today, no matter how weak you are. What it, whatever it is you're struggling with, whether it's drugs, whether it's addiction, whether it's alcohol, whether it's pornography, you can be encouraged on today because the word of God says he has already given you strength. He has already given you hope. He has already given you a way of an escape out of that situation. You don't have to stay where you are. But God words come to encourage you. The word of God says, whoever shall call up on the name of God, you shall be saved. You shall be saved out of that addiction. You shall be saved out of whatever struggle or capacity in life that you're in. You shall be saved. I just admonish you on today. I encourage your spirit on today that whatever it is that you're struggling with, the word of God come to encourage you to bring strength because there's strength in your struggle. And if you would just lift your hands up and say, I call up on the name of God, upon the name of Jesus on this day. I just call up on his name because he says, even in my weakness, when I call up on the name of the Lord, I shall be saved in the word of God. Encourage you on today that the word of God prophetically declared that at the name of Jesus, when you begin to call up on the name of Jesus, the word of God says, every knee shall bow. Every tongue must confess that he is Lord. Whatever situation whatever struggle that you have, I declare and decree if you would just begin to call up on the name of God and begin to call out to, through the name of Jesus, that name has authority, that name has power, and that name will break every bondage, it will break every addiction, it will break every chain in your life. If you would just begin to call up on the name of God, I just encourage you right now that you would just lift up your hand. And if you can't say anything else, you just say, I call up on the name of Jesus. And that name of Jesus will begin to impact and transform and transfigure your life like never, ever before. And it will restore.
restore your hope. It will restore your joy. It will restore your peace on today. It will literally bring you out of the sense of depression on today. Many, so many people need encouragement because the situation that they're dealing with have brought them in a state of depression. But on today, right now, I decree and declare you will not be depressed on today. But the joy of the Lord will become your strength on today. I thank you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that your hope, your joy is being restored and it is being released in this airways right now. Just lift your hands right where you are and just prophetically declare that the joy joy of the Lord is my strength and watch how your strength come on watch how your help come on because all your help comes from the Lord I come to encourage you today that no matter where you at right now you may have looked to friends you may have looked to everyone else but I encourage you on today if you keep looking to the hills which come with your help because all your help come from the Lord and the Lord will help you the Lord will bring you out he will pull you out from that place where you seem that you're stuck at. So many people in this time, in this season, feel like they're stuck in a place. But you don't have to stay where you're stuck at. Because God himself, even when the children of Israelites, they felt stuck in a position that they thought that they could not get out. And they kept wandering around the wilderness for all that time. But God made a way and escape. God brought them out so that they did not lack nothing. They did not need nothing. They did not want for nothing because Jehovah Jireh, our provider, provided everything that they needed in life. And I want to encourage you on today to let you know that the God that did it for them, he'll do it for you because he's the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. So on today, I just want to spur you on on today. As the word of God says, in the word of God in Hebrew chapter 10 and verses 25, 24 and 25, the word of God says, let us consider one another to provoke unto love and good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves as a manner as some is, but exhorting one another. That's what I come here on this telecast today. I come to exalt you. There are so many people that feel like that they're in a low place, that they are nobody, that they could never be anything. But I come to tell you that God's hand is still upon your life, even in the low place, even in the valley where you are. God's hand is up on your life. And I come to exalt your spirit on today to let you know you are somebody. You are with someone when you were formed in your mother's womb from the day that you were conceived God call you his own I don't know there may be a lot of people in life and some of you that is looking at this broadcast on today you may feel like that you have been disowned you may feel like you're the sheep of the family but I tell you one thing no matter what family member disown you God says you he still call you your his own no matter what you have done how many mistakes you have made God still call you his own. Why? Because the scripture says that we have to constantly begin to speak love and encourage each other. I want you to tell you that the love of God, the love of God is so strong and is so powerful that God loves just distributes abroad. That is the word of God. And no matter what you're done, God still love you. Everyone else may have fallen out of love with you, but I tell you one thing. You got a heavenly father that have an everlasting love and he will love you for eternity. And so just be encouraged. Just be encouraged. Even in your disappointment, someone is watching this broadcast that you're in a place and you're in a state of dis disappointment. But I come to tell you that your disappointment, and you may be in a state of disappointment now, but I guarantee you if you would just rejoice in the Lord, and be of good courage on today, you will find out that even in your disappointment that God has a divine apartment for your life. Amen. Someone may have disappointed you, but even those disappointments in your life will become a divine apartment with God for God to just show himself strong and mightily in your in your in and through your life. The word of God says the name of the Lord 
is a strong tower and the righteous run in and they are saved. Someone needs to know on today that they need a safety net. I want you to know that the word of God says that God will never leave you nor forsake you, but he will always keep you in his protective custody. Amen. God will always keep you in protective custody. You may be disappointed right now. You may be in discouragement right now because things may not fare out because you know that God has promised you some things in your life. He has prophesied some things over your life. But let me tell you one thing. The word of God in Ecclesiastes says that there are a time and a season for everything. And you know what? God's timing is not our time, but God has a strategic set time for your life to receive everything that you have and you may you may want it now but God knows what you want but he also knows the the specific need that you really needs in your life and some of the things that we may be wanting in life some of the things that we may be desiring right now it's not that God don't want to give it to you but God has a divine timing and the very thing that God spoken to you, it may be on delay, but it is not on denial. But what God does is he takes everything that he has promised you, everything that he has spoken over your life. He take it and he take and he put it in protective custody for strategic time so that when he give you the abundant life, when he give you the overflow in life, he knows that it is a divine time that he know that when it does enter in your life, you are ready and you're prepared. The strength, the struggles and everything that you're going through in your life right now, it is all in preparations for God to prepare you for what he has in and through your life. And so I just want to encourage you, even as the word of God says in Hebrew chapter 10 verses 24 and 25. And one of the language specifically says that, you know, this scripture is referred to spurring you on. What it does is it comes, this message comes to motivate your spirit. It comes to re regenerate you, to revive you, and to send revival in your spirit to be able to refresh your spirit from the place where you are on today. God wants you encouraged. The word of God says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 in, in verse 11, it says, encourage one another and build each other up. Brother and sister, I come to build your spirit up on today. I come to let you know that God will do just what he said he would do. I come to let you know that what God promised you, he is faithful. The word of God says God is faithful to everything that he promised. You just hold on and you just hold out and you just continue being encouraged in the word of God that what God has said in and through your life. And this word that has gone forth on today, even according to Songs of Solomon, he begins to speak of the word he says he just his delightfulness is in a timely word from God I come to encourage you with this timely word from God just to show you the power of the encouraging word of God as it go forward that it will bring so much delight the word of God say the word of God in a timely in a timely, I just explained to you that the word of God says God has a time and a season for everything. Well, this is a timely word that God is bringing forth in your life in this time to encourage you because the word of God says when a word is released in a timely fashion, in God's timely, it brings delight. It brings refreshing unto your soul and your spirit. The right word in the right time, in the right season, what God has to release from your life will do you all good in your life. It will uplift you. It would encourage you. It will bring joy to your spirit. That's what God wants you. He wants you in a joyful state right now, in a joyful place, the place where you have been at. You've been there too long. God says right now in the name, snap out of the depression, snap out of the discouragement, snap out of feeling that you can't go no further. Because God has a plan and a purpose of your life and it is good and it is not evil because God have an expected end for your life. Your life has more to it than what you see. And no matter what place where you are right here and right now to today, I come to declare and decree to you as the word expressed, the beginning, the ending of a thing is better than the beginning. 
You might feel like you stuck. You might feel like you trapped. But I tell you one thing, when you come out of this where you are on today, in the place that you are on today, when you come out of it, the ending going to be so much greater. The future is going to be so much brighter for you because God has a plan for your life. And so I come to encourage you on today. According to Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 6, it says, Be strong and of good courage. Don't be afraid, for God is with you. He's the one that's with you, and he will never leave you, nor will he ever forsake you, because God is with you. God is undergirding you. God's power lives within you. And let me tell you, you have the power to overcome anything because greater is he that is in you, that is he that is in the world. He's greater. He's the greater one on the inside of you. And if you would just dig deep and if you would just pull from the greater one on the inside of you, that's what encouragement comes to do in your life. It comes so that you will be encouraged in the Lord and in the power of his might. And when you become encouraged, even as those in the Bible, they were encouraging for, uh, for those who need encouragement. Moses was encouragement to the children of Israel. Joaz in 2 Chronicles 35 and 2, he was encouraged for those who were doing the work of God, that the things that they were assigned to. God sent men and women of God to encourage their spirit. And some of you may be watching right now. You may be in ministry. You may be serving and doing the work of God. And you need encouragement. Encouragement. God come to send encouragement to you right now to keep on serving God. Don't become weary in well doing because right at the due time, you may be doing everything else for the kingdom of God and, and feel like Martha that no one's helping you or whatever, but you're doing and you're right at the feet of God doing just what he's designed for you. You have chosen the good part. You have chosen the best cup part. Stay encouraged and be strong in God. Even with Nehemiah, he was encouraging. Even with Babylon and, and all of the things and the plan that God had for them. And God promised them. He was faithful at his word. He promised them that Babylon would fall down. And some of you may be facing an enemy and feel like your enemy is tall and they are stronger than what you are. But God promised that he will bring your enemies down. And God calls Nehemiah to encourage the people because the people had been gone through so much for so long. And, and, and when it came time, once God promised in his word has went forward, that he would bring Babylon forward. And Nehemiah went for the people to go forward to do the work of God. They had been through so much and people of God so many. Many of you all have gone through so much till they didn't have all of the resources. They lost everything that they have. But God had promised them and he sent Nehemiah for Nehemiah your fault like he's sending to me for you on today. Be encouraged because God word what he says, it shall be fulfilled. I come to encourage you with this word of God on today because encouragement, what it does is it keeps your heart from fainting, number one. It keeps you from quitting. It keeps you and it gives you the mobility to keep going on. Another thing that encouragement does is it strengthens you. And the word of God says in Psalms 31, he says, be of good courage and wait on God because he will, he will strengthen your life. Another thing with the word of God of encouragement will do is in tough times is it will do like it says in James chapter one. He says, count it all joy when you go through fiery trials and temptations and let patience have its perfect work in you. Because if you allow God to do the work that he needs to do in you at the strategic time, he will, God will cause you to come into the blessings that he have called you and you will lack nothing. Another thing that encouragement helps you do is it instill faith and momentum for you to go through and to keep on moving on according to Hebrew chapter 10 verses uh, 24 and 20, 25. And I just want to encourage you once again that the word of God says you are victorious. You will come out of this better than you went in. 
Be encouraged, my brother, my sisters. Be encouraged, the one who feel that they couldn't go on as this word and the power of God is released through the anointing of God's power. I want you to be encouraged and the word of God is for you is to be encouraged. Be encouraged on today. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might and wait on God. And God will begin to show himself strong and mightily in and through your life. In and through your life. This is the word of the Lord for you on today. I just want to thank you for watching in Prime for Life Prophetic Ministries. And if this word has been a blessing to you, I want you to take the time to write. You can just write to 5100 Lapel Court Boulevard in Prime for Life Prophetic Ministries in Marrero, Louisiana, 70072. You can write us or you can call at 504 504- 382-6912 uh, this ministry has been a blessing to you in any type of way we want you to just call we just want you to write I myself personally want to hear from you I want to hear your testimonies of what God is doing and how he's doing in and through your life again it is my pleasure to be able to enter into wherever you are on today in the name of Jesus we love you we praying for you and we thank God for you and we'll see you next time on Empowering for Life Prophetic Ministry For additional information regarding upcoming retreats and seminars, please call 504-450-9270. Remember, it's more than an experience, it's an encounter.